Hi everybody, welcome to the channel, BFG Precision. Um, got a, a cool video uh, here today for you guys. Um, I've done uh, I've done a, uh, videos on, on each of these firearms that, that I have here today. And uh, I wanted to do something that kind of tied in uh, some of the upgrades that I've done uh, and different things you can do uh, to these firearms. Um, and also wanted to... Uh, to kind of show you guys the difference between the SRT trigger uh, and the standard uh, P two two six trigger, or just classic P series trigger, uh, and 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 really kind of zoom in, and, and you guys can see, you know how they uh, how they perform and, and what the differences are mechanically. Uh, so before we get into that, uh, you know, if, again, welcome back to you guys that that have been to the channel before. Appreciate you know you guys checking out the videos, subscribing. Um, sharing the videos, um, you know, uh, so, um, hitting the bell so you guys get notified. Uh, comments, I love to hear you guys' comments. Um, you know, on on the material that I put out here, I learn a lot. I always mention that that I learn a ton from the comments that you guys can uh, provide. So appreciate that. This is a fairly new channel I've created a couple months ago, and uh, just trying to. Uh, you know, to see this, see this grow. It, it, it's grown uh, a, a bit here over the last few months, and you know, it's uh, that's a testament to, um, you know, to you guys, and and, and uh, you know, you guys, uh, you know, taking a look at what I have, and you know, and uh, and subscribing. So I, you know, I definitely appreciate that. So uh, all right, let's uh, let's get into it. So just uh, the three firearms I have here are the three. Um, P series uh, pistols that I've reviewed before on my site. So going left to right here, we have the P227 SAS uh, chambered in 45. We have the uh, the P226 Mark 25 chambered in nine millimeter, and then we have the P226 Legion chambered in nine millimeter. They're all double action, single action. They all have very similar, if not identical, controls in the, the decocker, slide catch, takedown lever, mag release. Um, so I uh, also have some parts here. You see there's there's been there's upgraded triggers um, on, on all these firearms. There is a um, there is a, you know some internal components that are uh, that have been upgraded. There are um, let me just get these over here because these are actually in this firearm. Okay, so uh, and then and then there's there's been some upgrades to the grips. So, uh, but the first thing I wanted to do before we get into uh, some of the upgrade is to just kind of talk about the short reset trigger that Sig has. Uh, so they they offer this SRT system uh, that comes in um, a few of the models for the. Uh, the P227, although that P227 line is discontinued, uh, but it also comes with the uh, the Legion, the Legion firearms. So uh, what the short reset trigger is is it basically just it, it's a different it's a different sear. Uh, you can see it here. So this is this is the sear. It's going to have this 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 sort of uh, lip on the end of it where the normal SRT uh, sear does not. And this, this piece interacts with the trigger and allows for the reset. Um, as opposed to in the non-SRT version, this interface is on the safety lever, not on the sear. So on the, the, the sear on the SRT trigger system, has there's no lip at all on it. It's, it's completely flat, so there's nowhere for it to interact with the trigger from that perspective. So again, just talking about how the trigger resets and how it resets in single action. We're not worried about a double action reset because that, that really is not applicable. It's the reset on the second shot because everything after the first shot is, is in single action. So, first of all, we have an empty mag, okay? We're gonna check all these firearms. There's nothing in the barrel, magazine's out. Breach face is clear, look away, we'll do that again. Barrel, magazine, breach face. We have an empty firearm here, okay? Same deal here, mag is empty, okay? Lock the slide to the rear, we 
check the barrel, magazine, breech face, look away, we'll do the same thing. And this is clear. We have a clear and safe firearm. And lastly, on the 227 version, okay, take the mag out of here, okay, we'll lock the slide open, and we are clear. There is nothing in the barrel, nothing in the mag, nothing in the breech face. Again, look away, and same thing. So we have three. Three safe and unloaded firearms. Okay. So let's look at, let's look at the SRT, the normal SRT, not, I'm sorry, not the SRT, the standard uh, reset. All right, I have that installed now in my Legion firearm here. This is the standard version. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have the double action pull. Okay, all right. Now we're here for the next shot. And you see right here, I don't know if you could see that, but right here, that is the safety lever. And you'll see the trigger bar here, okay? When I pull back, you're gonna see it reset. And it's pretty long, okay? Same thing, let's look at that again. Okay, I'm trying to line this up so you guys can see it. We're right here. Okay, there's the sear. Okay, there's the trigger bar. And we're gonna go back here, okay? Right there, I'll try to point to it and you'll see it click. Okay, now, if we look at the Mark 25 has the short reset trigger in it, okay? So if we do the double action pull, okay, now we're here. So if you look, if you look closely, you can see here, this lip right there, okay? Right there, that is not the safety lever anymore. That is the actual sear. Okay, so this lip right here, is this lip in the sear. So if we look here, let me get that in, there we go. So this rides in the firearm here and the trigger bar We'll ride here and it'll reset, okay? On the sear itself, not the safety lever. Okay, so let's watch that happen. All right, you'll see it. You'll see it right here. See how quick that is? Let's watch that again, right there. Let's see how quick that is. Boom. So that, is the difference between the standard version okay and remember that's that that lip that's the safety lever okay not not the uh, the sear okay and here we have the sear And that's your reset. Okay, so that's the difference in the firearms themselves. Okay, you uh, you 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 can see how in in the non SRT version that trigger bar is going to ride a little bit longer, so it's going to make for more of uh, of a uh, of a distance to travel. So. If we look at the trigger portion here, okay, that's got to go pretty far. Okay, as opposed to the Mark 25, which resets there. So much, much different. Um, 
So th there's a there's a pretty significant advantage of of having that short reset trigger um, that Sig offers uh, upgraded in in your firearm, and you can when you couple that with the a dual adjustable trigger, you really can tune the trigger system to to a very very short reset, and you can really uh, adjust the take up down to almost uh, nothing. So uh, two really good options there. Okay, so just to compare um, the components in that SRT trigger versus the standard trigger. So right here you can see the standard SRT, uh, the standard non-SRT uh, safety lever has the lip right here, okay, that I talked about where the trigger bar interacts with, with this, this lever here. So the trigger bar will make its way across this entire face. Let's see, make sure you guys can see that. The trigger bar will make it across this entire face and then reset, okay? If you notice the SRT safety lever, okay, does not have that in, in, an interface like that. It's, it's just, it's sort of a straight shot down the inside of the firearm. It doesn't interact with the trigger bar for the reset at all. Um, and the sear them, themselves are very different as well. So I'll just do this so you guys can see. So if you look here, you can, you can totally see the difference. So the standard sear is here, okay? The SRT is here. So on the SRT version, okay, this is where the trigger bar interacts for the reset. And you can see the difference. So that's really how you can tell if your P-Series firearm, if it has a short reset trigger on it or not. If this lip is on the sear, okay, then you have it. If it's on the safety lever, okay, then you don't, all right? So that's a real good way to tell. It, it is the way you, you can tell other than, you know, you mean when, when, you, when you pull the trigger, you really can, you, you're gonna know, you know, right away, you know, what you're dealing with, so. But again, just wanted to, to show you guys that, that difference here. So um, you know, if you look at, this is the reset on the Legion with, with the SRT. I mean, it's just, just an awesome trigger. Um, the Mark 25 as well, SRT trigger. Okay, and then the P227 as well, short reset trigger. So all three of these firearms have the SRT trigger installed. Um, what they also, all three of them have, is they have flat face, dual adjustable triggers installed. Um, the Legion and the Mark 25 have the Armory Craft dual adjustable trigger. And the Mark 25 has the Grey Guns dual adjustable trigger, okay? Um, it's, it's preference on, on which one you like. I don't like one over the other. I think the differences are obvious. Um, you'll have a more smoother uh, sides on the Grey Guns trigger. Um, it's not skeletonized. Uh, probably has a little more mass, slightly more mass, obviously. Um, and then you'll have like the, uh, the Armory Craft is skeletonized. It has a little more of a, a sharp bend here as opposed to it being rounded off. Um, but, but again, as far as functionality, you can tune these triggers completely the same. So, um, you know, they, they're, uh, they do a great job as opposed to the factory. Now, for the Mark 25, uh, the standard trigger from SIG, you know, that will have, there's no adjustments on that. Um, there's whatever geometry that, that SIG uh, builds into these, that's really what you're left with. So the, the, the trigger is not adjustable. Um, same thing, this is essentially the same trigger, it's just a little bit, maybe maybe there's slight differences. I mean, they look very, very similar there. Um, the curvature is similar. Um, the Mark 25 
has a little a um, little more mass on it um, you know and, and uh, there's some mass taken out uh, on the back here to sort of get rid of some of that weight but they're very very similar these two triggers um, what I did want to show you is on the um, on the Legion so the Legion not only comes with the short reset but it, it comes with the gray gun uh, trigger that is adjustable. It's adjustable for the take up, right? And you can see that set screw here. Um, Gray Guns calls this the P. Um, uh, I'm sorry. The yeah, I think it's called the the yeah P S A I T, and that stands for the Precision um, Adjustable Intermediate Trigger. So it has a single adjustment on the take up, not for the reset. So they use they use this trigger, this PSAIT Grey Guns trigger, to adjust the take up, and they use the SRT uh, to really get that that reset there. So they use those two components in the Legion firearm to to a, to better the take up and reduce the take up, I should say, and to also the SRT to reduce the uh, the uh, the reset. So that that's how they do it out of the box, and that's why they say you know the Legion is uh, is has pretty significant upgrades for, for the action and that you know the trigger pull is is the um, you know that they, they do have a trigger with some adjustments here and and um, you know I, I to be honest with you when I first when I first um, looked at the Legion I, w I didn't even I didn't even know that it had this I just did some research and, and, I, and I saw that it had this this uh, PS uh, PSAIT trigger I'm like what the heck is that so I did some research and lo and behold I found out that it did have it did have an adjustment for the take up now the dual adjustable triggers by Grey Guns and Armory Craft will give you this but it will also give you a, more adjustment on the reset to get it as close as possible so um so it, it does offer some of that plus I mean I like more of a flat face uh, trigger so so I was going to upgrade this anyway but Definitely wanted to show you guys this. Um, I don't think it's obvious, or at least it wasn't to me. It could it could have been to others, but want to make sure you understand that you know there is there is take up adjustment on the Legion that you don't find on other P series classic P series um, firearms. And this is the Gray Guns um, trigger that comes stock out of the box with the Legion, and I believe the single action only comes with a flat face um, over travel adjustment trigger as well. Okay, um, so some of the other things, um, uh, the strut was changed out in the Legion, uh, went with the, uh, it's, it's the super strut by the SIG Armor, um, and I also put in uh, a, 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 some, some tuning kits from Armory Craft. So the sear spring itself in, in the sear, and this is the, the original, that's been changed out with a competition sear spring in here to lighten the trigger pull. Uh, and also to lighten the trigger pull is um, the uh, it's it's the blue um, the blue spring that comes in a pack of four and I want to say I'll find it here in a minute let's see yeah so this is the actual pack this is another pack that I have um, this has let's see blue so this is a 19 pound um, it's a 19 pound uh, strut spring that I have in there, a hammer spring rather that I have in there. Now, um, I tried I tried the 16, 17, and 18 and I was getting issues with light primer strikes. The hammer just didn't have enough uh, behind it to, to, to engage the primer uh, consistently. So I worked my way up till I got to 19, which it, I, I ran 100 rounds with no issues. Now, I will say one thing I do have on order is the uh, skeleton hammer for this. Uh, with the reduced mass, I'm hopeful that I, I can get some, create some more velocity and be able to drop down to either the 18 or 17 or you know even possibly the 16. So we'll see, I'll, I'll do some experiments with that uh, and I'll, I'll get back to you guys on what I find. Uh, but but that's, that's, that's coming, but for right now, this firearm has the short reset trigger, the dual adjustable trigger from Armory Craft. It has the competition sear spring in it. It also has um, the uh, a, fi a, a, a lighter firing pin spring um, 
as well as uh, as well as the uh, uh, the uh, the sear the sear spring like I told you about. So firing pin spring, sear spring, short reset trigger, um, hammer spring, and it has the super strut, which which um, it brings in some better geometry. Um, with, with with the factory hammer, you'll get you'll the the spring will bow out and it, it'll 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 be uh, it, th this you could see is pretty straight. But the spring, the factory spring, will uh, it'll actually bow out, and and it, it puts a lot of pressure on one side of the spring instead of it being uh, aligned here. So, and there's some geometry changes up here by the uh, where, where it interacts with the hammer. Um, so, have had no issues with that. Been pretty pleased. Um, so yeah, so th those are the internals. Um, the last piece um, that was done on this firearm is the Armory Craft makes. Um, a stainless steel guide rod and they also they also have different weights for recoil control so if you reload if you have if, if you run different grains of ammo uh, and you want to you know you, you want to adjust this you can tune your gun according to whatever types of reloads or ammo that that you fire but this certainly um, you know gives you a ton of options uh, to be able to take care of that and this is this is the kit from armory craft that'll allow you to do that so those are the upgrades that I have in my Legion. Let's get this back on. Okay. Um, the last piece I wanted to go over. Uh, well, I actually, let, let, let me talk a little bit about. I'll talk about the Mark Twenty Five. So the Mark Twenty Five is a hundred percent stock, with the exception of the trigger, and I put an SRT in here. So this does have a short reset trigger in here. The actual, the the um, the standard um, sear and safety lever uh, are these are actually out of this Mark 25. So that that's been upgraded with an SRT and a Gray Guns dual adjustable trigger to give you that reset. And the take up is pretty good. Uh, everything else is is I, I take that back. Not everything else is stock. So the grips that come with this firearm, okay, are your standard, um, they're standard polymer grips uh, from SIG. They're, they're okay. Um, they're, you know, they're, they're a little, to be honest, they're a little smooth. So the grip definitely could be better. Um, I, I think that's a, a pretty wide consensus uh, from, uh, you know, Mark 25 users that I've heard. But, um, but nonetheless, right now on, on, on this is the extreme Hogue grips. They're the uh, G10 grips, and uh, they're the they're check the checkered. So um, so extreme Hogue series grips in the checkered pattern. Um, you know they're 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 really they're nice. They're grippy. They're very very similar to the Legion. So if you put the Legion next to it, they're very very similar grips. They feel very close. They don't have the medallion, and there's some there's some differences where your thumb interacts with the grips, but they feel very very similar. Uh, if, if it feels, uh, if not exact, to the Legion, um, but I wanted to I wanted to share with you guys because I I'm, I'm I haven't changed these out yet, but I'm considering it. Um, I actually had Frank from Frank Castle Customs. Uh, he I, I sent him uh, an extra set that I had of the of the stock grips, and Frank was able to do a dragon pattern um, on this, so he stippled these grips. And they just came out absolutely awesome. I mean, um, this the, the the work that Frank does at Frank Castle Customs is just it's just great. He's uh, he's really good at what he does, and and honestly, it's crazy because he gets better with everything he does for me. Uh, it seems so. Um, you know, he did a really good job with this, and I just wanted to throw that out there because you know, stippling is not just um, isolated to to polymer grip modules right so the 320 the 365 you know the glocks etc if you have a classic uh, classic line pistol that has polymer grips you can get customized work done and, and frank has many many patterns that you can choose from um, and this is just this is the dragon pattern so i wanted to show that to you guys because you know there are a lot of options uh, this is these are these are fairly inexpensive um grips in this form that you can order from sig and, and honestly this is exactly what i sent frank and 
this is what I got back. So lay those out for you guys. So on the left is what I sent to Frank. On the right is what Frank sent back to me. Um, so big, big difference. I, I think it absolutely huge upgrade. The stipple job is, is phenomenal. And, uh, you know, Frank does really great work. So I wanted to, uh, to kind of just send a shout out to Frank and, you know, appreciate all that you do. And, you know, I want to make sure that people know that even if you have a, a classic line firearm or, or a Beretta or, you know, whatever, a firearm that has polymer grips, you, you can get some work done by Frank, some custom customized work done by Frank. And, you know, I think Frank does work with the laser. He can do logos. There's a ton of things he can do. And his business is growing. So uh, it's uh, great to support Frank. Frank's uh, law enforcement. And, uh, you know, those are those are the people we want to support. So, you know, appreciate, uh, appreciate you, Frank. And, uh, you know, just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, and, you know, th these are... Uh, these grips here are just to show you the difference. These are the, this is the Legion grip versus the Hogue Extreme grip. So this is what I have right now. What you see on my Mark 25, and this is what's on the Legion. So they're very very similar. Uh, and then you have um, you have the polymer grip that Frank Castle Custom Customs did. So just three really really good options for your firearm. So okay um so really that that's it those are the upgrades that i've had on the on the uh on, on my uh p classic line p series firearms i uh, wanted to uh show you guys the short reset trigger and the difference between that and the, and the standard uh sear and um and safety lever so hope that was informative i uh, hope i could share some of the things that i found uh, and then, you know, the, the ability to really tune these to get the trigger system right with the dual adjustable trigger. And you, when, you, when you add that or couple that with, uh, with the short reset, you can really get firearms that are really, really fun to shoot. Um, so uh, the, the SRT, in my experience, has been extremely reliable. What I will say is if, um, you know, the, the, the Legion and everything I've done to the Legion, I don't use that firearm for self-defense. I don't use it for home defense or concealed carry. That I use uh, at the range. I use it uh, really just for sport, for fun. Um, the Mark 25 is a little bit different. I uh, I, I do use that at times for uh, for self defense uh, as my bedside firearm. And what I would say is you have to be careful with the dual adjustable trigger um, to give yourself some some slack. Don't don't make the tolerances so small towards that reset that you know you're going to risk having a malfunction so you have to be careful in that and and you want to use loctite on these screws to make sure that they don't um, loosen up on you uh, that's important um, i i could make the reset better in this firearm i could make the take up better in this firearm but i don't want to close in on those tolerances so much that it it puts any type of reliability issue into this firearm um, the reset is definitely better in the legion but that's because i've tuned it that way uh, I, I could get this equal, but I, I, I have not. So, um, and that's all user defined depending on how you're going to use your firearm, and that's how I've chosen to use mine. So, um, again, just just uh, just some information, some of the things that I've been doing, and uh, and thought it'd be great to just pass that on to you folks. So, um, appreciate you guys uh, joining today. Um, like I always say, please thank your law enforcement folks, your emergency services. Uh, people, first responders, uh, your veterans, and, and our our, um, our folks in the military right now uh, wouldn't be where we are today without you. Really appreciate everything you do and the sacrifices you make. Um, so, so thank you um, for what you do. Uh, with that said, I appreciate everybody joining. I hope everybody has a great day. Uh, stay safe, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care, everybody. Thanks.